First thing we want to do is cut the top off of our bottle here. Um, if you want to use a glass jar, that's okay as well. And we want two parts brown to one part green. So what we're gonna do, so brown things are carbon rich, so we wanna add carbon rich things like leaves, breakfast biscuits, and some soil. Then we're gonna add some greens in. So let's put some leaves in, some fresh leaves, some grass, and a banana peel. Then I'm gonna add some coffee grounds. Coffee grounds are considered a green, not a brown, because they are rich in nitrogen. Then I'm gonna add some more brown and I'm gonna layer it up again. So I'm gonna use some blue roll. Even though it's blue, it is considered a brown. So I'm gonna put some paper there. I'm gonna put some more leaves. More greens, grass, apple core. Torn up pieces of paper. Coffee filter. And lastly, stir it all up. So what is compost? Compost is just the process of breaking down organic material aerobically. That means with oxygen. And the reason why it's really beneficial is because a lot of food waste that goes into our uh, landfills right now actually gets broken down anaerobically because it's all piled on with lots of other stuff. And that produces a gas called methane. And methane is actually really, really harmful in the atmosphere if it builds up too much. It's called a greenhouse gas. And greenhouse gases are really, really good at trapping heat in which causes the temperature to rise because it traps in the radiation from the sun. And we already know that the climate is changing. We don't want any more methane gas. So one way of trying to combat some of this is actually to start your own compost bin. So what I have here is I have a mini compost bin. I've just used a, uh, a one liter soda bottle and you can add your tail scraps to this, but you basically you want to have two parts brown to one part green. Uh, brown things are things that are very carbon rich, so that's things like dried leaves, um, that's some twigs, you don't want too many big twigs, but some twigs. Um, I've got some paper, some blue roll in here, I've got a lot of soil in here, and I've also got a coffee filter, a used coffee filter. Now it's important to note that the coffee filter is a brown, but I also have coffee grounds in here, and that is actually considered a green. Green things are very nitrogen rich, and so nitrogen rich things include things like grass clippings, I've got some leaves down here, I've got a little clover in here, I've got some uh, banana peel, I've got an apple core, I've got some, uh, and I've got some coffee grounds. So those are some of uh, some examples of my green things, so my nitrogen rich and my carbon rich things. Those things help the microbes in here to break down all of this material. And as they break down, they, be they become compost. And what that ends up looking like is a very, very fine, soft, moisture rich, almost soil looking thing and it's really good for using in your garden. So instead of sending our food scraps off to the landfill, we can reuse them and keep them out of the landfill, which then also cuts down our methane and ends up helping the environment. So go ahead and try this out yourself and over the next few weeks or so, you should start to see this will actually start to shrink. 
It's really important to note also, you need to have, you need to keep this moist, but not wet. So I've added some water. It should be about the consistency of like a wrung out sponge. So if you've gotten the sponge wet and then you've squeezed it out, that's about the, 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 the feeling that you should have here. It shouldn't be soppy wet. You shouldn't see like big puddles in the bottom. You should just see it should be uh, slightly damp. Another thing to note is if you want to make a bigger one of these, you're definitely going to want to make sure you have some good drainage. So if you wanted to, you could poke a hole in the bottom here so that any excess water does run out, um, and then you can just top up the water as needed. All right, take pictures and videos of yours, and we want to see them down in the comments below. Thanks, guys. See ya.